Hi everybody, welcome to Project Not Slow. Pretty exciting video for us. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to see somebody do for so many years. I've been around a lot of 603s, um, so I know the 603s pretty well, but I have not been around too many 606s until lately. I got more 606s now than 603s, but I've always really was curious. Putting the parts uh, together, like the rods, the cranks, the blocks, cylinder heads, and just uh, I was always curious, like side by side, what are the differences between a turbo 603 and a turbo 606? So here we have basically fully assembled turbo 606 from like a 98, and then here we have a also basically fully assembled um, turbo 603 from a 86 or 87, forgot from a 300D. Overall. I mean, the only real difference is the cylinder head, kind of the look, the injection pumps look similar, except this is the mechanical pump, the one that pretty much you use to make the 606 run in any car. And then here we have cylinder heads. So the main difference between the 603 and the 606 is the cylinder head right here. Single cam, dual overhead cam. Here's the 603, one pretty large cam with um, pretty large lifters huge valve springs. The interesting thing, the way they have it on the 603 is the injectors are to the side uh, versus the 606, they're in the middle. And you can see with lifting the cylinder head, the pre-chambers are off to the side. And they're angled also? Angled. Yeah, the, the thing is the 140s had, um, the injector was angled in the pre-chamber also. Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Uh, because then it always looks weird, like you're cross-threading it because because it's like the pre-chamber and the injector is like at an angle in the pre-chamber. Anyways, well, yeah, 606. It's a little bit bigger head. Obviously, you got more, I don't think you got more valves, you got more flow. That's the idea, right? Yep. So we'll kind of look at the port here and look at the port there. I'm just kidding, you have two. So I guess adds up science. <laughs> and then also the injectors are completely in the center of the head here and the pre chambers as well. But one thing that is pretty cool about the 603 is that you have pretty good access to your injectors, injector lines, injection pump when the engine is installed. And the 606 is kind of like, like as if they on purpose covered it so nobody yeah. messes with it. Any, anytime you do any work, any type of fueling work, you need to take yeah. off that intake manifold. Intake manifold, which is pretty annoying. Yeah, yeah like I the 603, annoying. it basically stays on. You have the injection pump right there, all the access to it. You need to do anything to it. Um, anyways, that's, so that's one of the main differences. So one thing about the 603 cams is that they have a pin already. Uh, this one's broken though. Um, that's not really a common issue that just uh, a little mistake. <laughs> um, you live and you learn. Um, then it has one really big bolt, the 606 cams. Um, one has three bolts and the other one is just basically pressed on. So for the 606 um, on the intake cam, it's highly recommended to drill and pin it. Um, what we did was drill tap and put a set screw in it. And that worked really well on a race engine revving it past 6,000 RPM, everything's doing really well. So from now on, we're gonna do that to all of our 606s because it takes it takes very little time and you're pretty much confident. Your cam gear is not gonna shift on the cam. Anyways, let's see what else we got. Uh, it's for the 603. Here's uh, here's the valve springs. Like look at that compared to the 606 and valve springs. And these are, these are beefy already. Oh, these, these are, are beef. These are, what is it they call race it? performance race 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 valve springs yeah um but one thing to know this is a m103 uh valve spring compared to a 603 valve spring slightly beefier so um thanks to f tune for letting me know that the m103 ones fit i wish i knew that years ago when i was trying to figure that out uh and the valves are pretty 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 big on the 603 compared to the 606 well i mean it makes sense Intake, intake, exhaust. Yeah. Valves the are... pre chambers on the 606 have a lot of holes. Many more than the 603. They're probably twice as much as the 603 pre chambers. I think 603 pre chambers have like, what, like four holes? I don't know. They got some. But a lot less. Yeah, a lot less. 
anyway so that's the cylinder head differences um otherwise both aluminum <laughs> moving on to the uh block um don't mind the hole in the block over yeah. here this is a bad example of a 603 <laughs> but this is uh anyways first. this is what happens when you overheat uh like a 14 cylinder head and it cracks and water gets in and you don't fix it for some time and then you get more and more water starts leaking in as the crack gets bigger you end up hydro locking and you basically get a rod through your block both sides both sides through both sides <laughs> anyways so this is a 603 block and this is a 606 block so the biggest difference that i know of um or that i could find visually is that the 603 has this cut right here for some water flow but the 606 does not and it just has two holes on each side that are drilled at an angle into the block and another thing that's really a big difference there's two oil passageways right here i'm guessing these are drains from the cylinder head or something there's only two on the 603 but then on the 606 yeah. it's every single in between has them yeah so and then the blocks look a little different right here you have basically on the 606 smooth block um a 603 has some of these i don't know strength uh, ridges maybe strength ridges i don't know you know i'm wondering if the thickness is different like the metal itself of the block i don't know if i should measure it somehow i don't know if the block is itself is thicker or thinner it feels about the same it feels about the same but really interesting how this has these the 603 has these ridges and then the 606 is just smooth i wonder if there's a strength difference maybe maybe we gotta use a 603 block block fill these channels in with some concrete yeah, i've seen somebody um machine and put um put some metal inside there in order to prevent it from uh cracking because i've seen pictures i've never done it myself the most i've ran was probably somewhere around 38 to 40 psi of boost in a very very worn out engine so uh the the pressure i guess wasn't too crazy but i've seen somebody crack every single one of these because of how thin the metal is right here and the 603 also on this side has extra ridges for strengthening i guess but overall not sure which one's stronger oh another thing to note is the 606 has this big old hole right here there's some type of oil passageway has this big old hole but the 603 has nothing has has metal has metal so we don't know if that's performance or <laughs> longevity yeah so not sure what the difference is there so here we have a 606 used 606 gasket and a brand new 603 gasket because i've always wanted to test how a 606 gasket would work on a 603 so far it looks like it'll work yes it'll work it's just there's these holes are much smaller rather than on the 603 you can see these same exact holes are much larger so like even oh see you got to drill out some holes here they're not even there but there are some large differences well mainly just the differences are these holes it's just the water holes on that side this side basically almost everything the same the only difference is you have this oil right here see it's straight into the block yeah and then this one's also straight into the block yeah so that's where the these oil channels used to be to but here there's on the 603 block there's nothing i guess let's put a 603 gasket on a 606 yeah so you can see here Dude, it looks like everything lines up perfectly look at that yeah <laughs> you can use the worser 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 more <laughs> more worse you can use, use the more worse the the worst g head gasket the, yeah you could use a worse head gasket if you wanted to on yeah if you're in a real pickle the only problem is your cylinder head won't drain right here so yeah right there no, right here and right here also yeah. the oil two oil That's drains much the only well there is one spot right here i'm not sure what that hole is for but it's also missing on the 603 gasket interesting anyway let's look underneath them so looking up them upside down the blocks look very very, very yeah the similar. blocks look very very similar underneath so the turbo 603s have these j jets these are uh kind of unscrewed there let me pull this one out they're actually screwed in there with a the little 10 millimeter 
So these are the Oral Squirters for the Pistons. And then the 606 has them quite different. These are just pressed in. So yeah, the main only difference that we see underneath here is these Oral Squirters. And yeah. well, and like how they're mounted. Just these... the, yeah, basically just the oil squirters and how they're mounted. That's about it. Yeah. It seems like the rest of it's pretty much exactly the same. Oh. What see? A sleeve. Where? See, these have no sleeves. This does not have a sleeve. It's a piston. That's not the piston. That's a sleeve. Oh, that's a sleeve. Yeah. What 603 is a sleeve. You can see. What? You can see that's uh, the 603. I don't know if this is stock. Did someone rebuild this engine? I don't know, but we or, have a couple of more. Let's oh, yeah, yeah, let's go quickly look to see if the other ones are sleeved. So you sleeve yeah. also? Yeah, right there. You can see the uh, sleeves um, right there. Oh, yeah, you can see there's a sleeve. So this is also another 603 block we have that's and broken. A, and another 603 block. And another 603 block. I'm going to here. And a 603 block graveyard. Cool, but <laughs> kind of interesting for how many cylinder heads I have replaced in the 603s. I can't believe I've never realized that it's a sleeve. Or maybe I knew it was a sleeve. I never really thought there was no such thing as non-sleeved. Interesting. I thought that was just normal. And then never really gave it much thought. Anyways, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the, more you, the more you know. The more you know. Uh, let's see, moving on. Cranks. Um, the cranks are the same yeah cranks are the so, same the cranks are literally the same if so this one says 603 this one is a 603 crank this one is this crank is from this engine over here we were debating to use it for the race engine uh after it spun the bearing but decided not to just in case some kind of weird stress happened to the crank while uh bending the rod so um the 606 crank literally says 603 on it yeah <laughs> so so the cranks are pretty much the same the pulleys are different on oh, the turbo versions here's the pulleys difference the 606 pulley 603 pulley 603 pulley is basically like a one piece 606 has like a two piece it has like a a steel ring as like a dampener all right moving on to the rods uh, this is actually very exciting for me. This is probably one of the biggest things that I wanted to do this whole video for because always known um, from reading Super Turbo Diesel Forum way back, I don't know, what was that, like 17 years ago? Wow. Yeah, that's how long, that's when I got my first diesel Mercedes. Kind of oh. ages me, huh? Yeah, I was three years old when you bought one. <laughs> Anyways, that was a while ago. Um, but I've always known, 603. Uh, stock rods, turbo 603, stock rods about around 400 horsepower. Turbo 606, stock rods around 600 horsepower is basically the the average that we know of that they can handle. So I've always wondered what the two rods look like, look like side by side. So here they are, finally. Turbo 603 rod, turbo 606 rod, side by side. They look kind of the same. They look very similar. Until you turn them sideways right here. Now the 606 looks much beefier. Yeah, the 606 right here, much beefier. And I guess the, the lubricating holes up top. Yep. Um, 603, 1, 606, 2. Um, what else? Oh, wanted to mention a really good thing that, uh, well, from watching F2 videos, uh, good info on them, on there. Um, the 60, Turbo 606 rod, and this is a 603, Turbo 603 piston, and the Turbo 606 rod, it's perfect and is actually a great upgrade um, if you want to just put a bit more than 400 horsepower through your 603. Uh, it's all, it also fits a 602 and a 601. I'm pretty sure because of the slits in the block, the, uh, the turbo 606 rods will probably outlive the 603 block because, yeah. of, because of the oil, uh, the lubricating passages. So I also wanted to mention this beautiful Benz Force X-Beam rods pretty excited about this because it's 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 just huge we had um the h beam rods and basically the the h beam rod that most companies sell um and the x beam is just it's just so much beef measured it's it's at least a millimeter and a quarter bigger in every way including the bolts the arp oh, bolts yeah it comes with arp bolts that are just 
just beef, just so thick. Um, pretty excited. I'm pretty sure that that block will give up way before these rods. Yeah. Uh, guaranteed. Yeah. So pretty much in conclusion, the 603 and the 606, the main difference is cylinder head. <laughs> pretty yeah. much the cylinder head um everything from block down is very very similar just kind of the, the coolant passages and some and small minor differences like like just like the oil squirt squirters and then some extra passages for oil and then just different i guess cooling gaps really yeah head gasket. so i'm going to learn how to put a 606 head gasket on a 603 gonna be doing that soon actually just gotta mi modify it in a few spots and I will learn, I'll do different testing to, and I wanna make sure that I can get a 606 head gasket working on a 603 because the 606 head gasket is just beef compared to this composite paper gasket. That's the differences that I know of with between the 603 and the 606. So I don't know every everything there is to know about them. So uh, if you guys know a lot of other small or big differences, or other cool facts about these engines be sure to leave them in the comments i'd love to read them and also learn and share them with more people um otherwise i want to fire these two up the 603 is actually very simple to fire up because you, you pretty much just need 12 volts to glow plugs in the starter and it's running the 606 a little bit more complicated to, to start it up have to redo some of the hoses a little bit and move the rack manually in order to fire it up otherwise it's electrical so get it started oh. i'm actually curious what if you connect 12 volts to one of the two wires and that'll be like uh moving the the rack back yeah you'll just be like you would floor it all all fuel no fuel all fuel no fuel i mean you could i'm sure there's people who figured it out how much voltage to apply in order for it to move but it's fine anyways let's see we got oil in this one yes it's ready to go dipsticks are the same ring oh deep stick dipsticks are the same okay good to no, know it's good not. To know. the 603 is a little longer interesting Sorry. So you know what that means? If your 606 is low on oil, put a 603 dipstick. It'll be plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so that you don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. God bless you guys. God bless America. And good night.